Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at the Ray Mays Leaf Cutter uh, Rucksack and we are going to be seeing how much you can actually fit inside it. On the right hand side I've got my rucksack that I've used for many many years and never had a problem uh, with it, the Berghaus Cyclops Crusader and I've recently purchased the Ray Mays Leaf Cutter because I wanted to go back down to having a smaller bag uh, so that I was less tempted to just fill up the big bag with lots and lots of heavy things to go out um, for weekend bushcraft camps. Um, and I was actually surprised at how much we could fit into this one, so I wanted to show you how much you can actually fit inside a Ray Mays leaf cutter rucksack. Let's get okay, into so it. Okay, so here are the two bags uh, side by side, and I'm hoping you can uh, see the differences between the two and see how much bigger uh, the one on the right from... Uh, Burkhaus actually is. Uh, mainly the main compartment in the centre uh, is a lot taller uh, and then the rocket pouch is on the side uh, a lot deeper uh, and a lot wider as well from the uh, the Raymaze, Raymaze pack. Uh, and like I said uh, a second ago this this pack I've had since I think since the beginning of when I started bushcraft I did have a, a Burkhaus kind of a hiking uh, rucksack to begin with but I needed a lot more space for the things that I wanted to carry earlier on in my um, kind of bushcrafting journeys where I was taking lots and lots of things. So now where I've been able to refine my kit uh, and if you do want a detailed video of the things that I take you'll be seeing them uh, in this video but if you want a more in-depth of what I take out then I have got another video on the channel you can go and have a look at that but the uh, now that I've refined the kit this bag, uh, I just seem to be filling it up with um, things I don't necessarily need to take, um, but I uh, end up taking anyway, and then it weighs a ton, and it's hard to carry around. So I've been wanting for a while to find a new bag that uh, doesn't have as much space in, but still has the amount of space that I need for, uh, for my kit, uh, and then doesn't have as much extra room. It still has extra room in this bag, but it doesn't have as much extra room, so I don't start filling it up with things I don't necessarily need. Um, and it's a way of testing myself to make sure I'm not just relying on things that I'm taking out. Um, I, can re I can concentrate more on creating the thing out there if I am in desperate need of it. Um, so just from an outside point of view, uh, just looking at all the um, all the space. So obviously they've both got the main, main compartment and they've both got side pouches. The pouches on the uh, Cyclops Crusader are significantly larger. Um, you'll see in a second my Cook uh, kit, uh, I've now spread across two pouches, whereas in this one, it fits all in one. So that's the biggest uh, difference between the two. Uh, everything in my main compartment is still in my main compartment, um, but my cook set is now in the two different side pouches. Um, they both have a, a top pouch, top zipper pouch. Um, the Raymere's one actually has a pouch inside the hood, uh, inside like the cover as well. Um, so I've just put some kind of baby wipes in there. Um, the only thing that the Raymere's one has extra, though, is this uh, front compartment. So that makes up for the space lost on the sides, um, because at the minute, I think I've got my knife in there and my gloves, but there you go, my belt. Uh, that would be completely empty. Um, so any food that I can't fit in the remaining space of the side pockets can go in there. But that's my extra space if there's anything that I want to take out and test or any camera gear that I want to take out. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show you what I can fit inside the Raymere's pack uh, in each compartment. Our Raymere's leaf cutter bag is uh, made, produced by Scottish Mountain Gear. So very high quality bag uh, and it feels it as well. So lifting up the hook, hood. i to take bits out. Got my tarp, my hammock. I need to uh, pack that up a bit properly. I had it out for drying, that's why I've not put it away properly uh, yet. I've um, got my uh, ground mat, my under blanket. Again, all of the um, all of the bits that you see in the video, I do go into more detail in uh, my, my uh, all the videos on the channel. 
uh, about my essential bushcraft kit that you can go and have a look and then at the bottom oh some pegs there oh that's the bag for the tarp and then at the bottom I've got the sleeping bag so that was the main compartment and just see if this shows up it has got is a sleeve for the axe on one side and sorry the saw on one this side and then the axe goes in this one I'm using the axe at the minute just to uh, do some logs for the uh, for the fire um but yeah i really like that in the um in the old pack it was just all one big compartment um and kind of had to slip it down and sometimes i was cautious of snagging some of the uh the sleeping bag and the tarp maybe on some of the sharper bits of the of the saw but i really like these um two pouches at the back um and it fits everything in there was still some space um at the top so if i do want to take out my um my uh, wool blanket coat or uh, the ridgeline monsoon jacket for if it's raining there's still space to pack that in if i'm not currently wearing it um and then like i said before there is a zipper pouch on the inside of this hood all the information there and inside there like i said i've just got some baby wipes in there Just put everything in a way, and as you can see, there is still plenty of room in there to put something else in there. Uh, like I said, the smock or the uh, the raincoat, plenty of space. But I can cinch that down. So let's get look at the uh, the hood next. Let's close this up. So in the hood, it's pretty much like for like uh, from the Crusader. I have the my first aid kit. Uh, which is the first thing um, inside, so it's the most accessible. And then behind that, I have a possibles pouch for uh, carving, for sewing, lots of different bits and pieces in there. Uh, I've got my sandpaper. I do want to reduce what's actually in here because it is a bit weighty. Well, it's getting weighty because I just keep on putting more and more things in. And it's not necessarily things that I use um, on a regular basis. So it can just be put in and out now and again as I come to use it um, but yeah I, like I said this top pocket was only used for those two anyway on the Crusader so it's near enough uh, like for like um, I just have to say with the quality of this this bag um, like I said a Scottish mount, mounted gear is it it feels lovely uh, the zips uh, feel very sturdy very secure um, yeah I just uh, it feels like this bag was made for what I'm taking now. I think a lot of time and effort has gone into actually how much space is needed um, in it because it feels like I'm, I can fit everything in with some extra space um, and I'm not overloading it. And when I put it on my back as well, it just feels so comfortable. That's it. That's another big factor uh, with this bag is just how comfortable it is to wear. Um, there's nothing massively different about it. I think it's just the way it's been constructed or where it's been placed, where it is placed on my back. Um, I suppose because it's a smaller bag, it just sits better um, as well. But it's just a really comfy bag. It's the same, the obviously with the same amount of stuff in as when I put it in the Crusader bag. Sorry for my daughter's books in the background. <laughs> um, when I put everything in the Crusader bag and put it on my back, I do feel like I'm. I can't walk for a long time with it because I am. It feels like I'm lugging around a, t a ton, and I don't know why it feels like that. But when I put it in here, it doesn't feel as weighty. Um, so it must be the way it's sitting on my hips or sitting on my shoulders. Um, yeah, and also because I'm not be not able to fit in as much extra things that I don't necessarily need in there as well. So that makes a big difference. Okay, onto the uh, sign pouches. As I said at the start, these uh, aren't as, they don't come out as wide as the Crusader ones, so um, can't really fit as much next to each other. But in this one, I've got my Kapilka bowl. Um, then I've got my uh, Marika frying pan. 
that's still in there. And that's one thing that I was really surprised I could still fit in. I thought I'd have to drop that because that that is that adds a bit of weight. And I thought, oh, maybe that's the one that I need to uh, drop. But I've been really surprised that I can still keep that in there. And then all I've got is kind of my cooking set. So oils, salt and pepper, sweet chili sauce. Can't go without that. Um, and that's everything in that side pouch. Again, there was still some room uh, to fit some smaller bits in. Um, again, if I had some packets of rice or noodles that I wanted to put in, I could do. Uh, this side has the least amount in, so there's still plenty of room in here. So all I've got is my water bottle and um, nesting cup for boiling water, and then my uh, cookser. And that is the only... Oh, and a spork as well. So that's the only two things actually in there. So in the old bag, I could, fa I could fit the pan at the back, and then the bowl next to it with a cup like that. And then the um, cooks are just like sat on top of it all. And I could even fit that in as well. So there was room for it all to go in. Um, it, it sometimes made me a bit lopsided as well because all the weight uh, was in one side and all the food was in the other. Um, but I, yeah, it, it, I, that's down to packing it. So yeah, like I said before, this is the only kind of big difference is I forgot to separate both things. But it's not the end of the world like i said there's still plenty of room in the pockets for for uh, more things so it doesn't affect what i can or can't take out just move those to the side and swivel it around so i'm inside today because it started raining outside so i didn't want to just sit out in the back So I'm inside today because I didn't want to uh, sit in the uh, garden while it was raining. Um, so like I said before, it's got this front front pouch on. And all I've got in here is uh, a little tripod, my knife, and a pair of gloves. And that's everything. But uh, I'd be able to use that for any extra food that I was taking that couldn't fit in the side pouches um, or just just leave it closed. Um, again, that, so this is going to be where I need to keep an eye on that I'm not overfilling it with things and just popping things in, popping things in. Um, I really want to be cautious on taking out only what I uh, need, with, with some exceptions, like there's some cooking exceptions that you think, oh, you don't actually need that, but yeah. Um, I'm talking about taking things like Viking drinking horns out and five catapults um, and uh, pff, yeah, all sorts that just get thrown into the bag. Like, oh yeah, if I need this, if I need that, if I need that. Whereas I should be thinking, okay, if I need it, I can make it out there. Um, yeah. So uh, if you have any questions about the, about the pack, if you're looking to buy it, this one I did buy. Uh, second hand that's why you can see some marks on it and there was a bit of sharpie on the back uh, covering up uh, the name do you know what i'm not really fussed about buying second hand things i think if it's still in good working order then that'll be good enough for me uh, and this is definitely definitely the right bag for for me but i'll leave a link to the uh, the two bags um or I'll put the dimensions of the two bags in the description so you can see the uh, litre uh, differences between the two bags. Um, so you can see how many litres are actually in this bag and how much it can actually um, actually take. Again, I was surprised. I was really thinking I'm going to have to pack things in a different way, maybe get a new sleeping bag that maybe packs down a bit more. But it's, um, yeah, I've been very surprised with uh, what this can take. So I'll put the dimension, uh, dimensions uh, in the uh, description. Uh, if you have any questions about any of the kits that you saw being taken out of the bag, uh, then please leave a comment, but there is, I'll leave a video, the link to the video in the description as well to when I did my main kit discussion. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.